Today, we're going to be showing you how we made this signage for a local business. Hi, welcome to the channel. Today's video, we're teaming up with Visual Group, who are a signage manufacturer local to us. Um, and we're going to talk you through this video from manufacture to installation of this traditional looking stamped sign um, at a local restaurant. So yeah, stay with us and see how we got on and did that. Right, so here we are following a site visit where we got the dimensions needed for the canopy at the restaurant. We're using the customer's logo, their colour, their design, looks fantastic. We got it onto the machine that they've got at Visual Group, it's an amazing machine. Whenever we need anything like this doing, we take it to them and they're, they're just the go-to place for this. Um, with the, the stencils that we're using, they were made into three sections, you know, down to the size of the material and also ease of use when we were up there at the canopy. So as you can see there, it cuts out absolutely perfectly what we needed. Um, and when we went onto site, we had to make sure that we kept all the centers of the letters um, to make sure they lined up. So we're just making sure that it all works there. As you can see that the A and then the ampersand, a few little bits there and the R. We had to take the whole letters with us, line them up. You'll see when we're manufacturing it, just like this. And uh, we take them with us, stick them down so they're perfectly placed making sure it all works. ready to get on with it. We found the centre of the canopies, chose a side and just got on with it. <laughs> it's a big old unit, all four sides to do, two different sides, stencils for the front and back and the two sides, slightly smaller stencil. So there we are, we decided in the end to work off the scaffold tower rather than just off the ladders, so much easier and safer. Yeah, we started off by giving it all a clean down, it had been painted um, by the customer and then they had a company come in and sprayed it with a two-part um, polish so we were wary about damaging this um, we didn't want to use anything too harsh for sticking the stencils down so and also we didn't want to use anything too harsh for cleaning up the overspray we were guaranteed to get some overspray on this job the even though it's and it looks nice and flat um, it wasn't superbly flat so even as we were spraying as you'll see in a bit um, overspray could go underneath the stencil. We chose in the end just to use a few bits of gaffer tape or duct tape just to hold it down there with and that worked perfectly fine and you can see the masking tape holding all the letters in place. It helped to lift it up there keeping it all together like that and also we needed those centers. So from here on in it's quite a simple process just removing the centers of the letters that we don't need and taking that masking tape off, sheeting up a little bit um, and then ready for spraying. Right, so here we are, we're just starting spraying, a very light mist coat to begin with. I'm just using that bit of cardboard there just to push the stencil down to the woodwork. And there you are, nice gentle mist coats, building it up slowly. We don't want any runs or anything like that. We were concerned about the paint going down through the tongue and groove on the panelling. But you can see there that the foam board that we're using wanted to lift away. You can just see slight shadow gaps there, so that's why I was using the card and pushing that down as I sprayed. So the colour is, is the customer's branding colour, so we had to make sure we get the, um, that colour perfectly. So we had the paint mixed up, it's a Pantone colour, light blue. So yeah, and it's, we, we took, did a few spray outs to make sure it was right and the customer was happy and they were really happy with it, it matched with their branding. So 
Oh, now here we are. Just let that paint dry off for a little bit. Go, got the next stencil in. Just make sure everything ran in line. We were lucky that Visual Group had made these stencils, so they just lined up with the bottom of the canopy, so we could line them up, and we knew that all the letters would sit nice and nice and straight. truth now we just start removing the stencils we didn't have to wait too long for that paint to dry big reveal <laughs> and these stencils are so easy just to use and take them down on my own as you can see how flimsy they were that that's one reason why they were all taped up to begin with to help us lift them up there and not get damaged There I am, I'm just going over with a bit of rubbing alcohol, like an IPA mixed with, uh, diluted mixed with water, just cleaning off some of the elbow spray there. See, that was all sorted. A few close-ups for you. It looks great. Just the three more sides to do. <laughs> yeah, you can see how crisp that stencil is looking, how it's been sprayed. Looks really good. Right, so there we have it. That was it, start to finish, how we got this amazing look for Clam & Cork local business. Um, and thank you, we need to say, for Clam & Cork for letting us come and do this and film this, and to the visual group for letting us come along and join in with them on this business. Yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you've liked it. If you have, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel, Renovate Innovate, and we'll see you on the next one. <laughs>